guys so let's talk about what happened with this wig this wig has been bleached and dyed all right she is cute she is from amazon and she lifted like this if you're interested in seeing how i did this if you're interested keep on watching but if you on a budget and you want some color this is the video for you so let's get it of course we are going to have to start off with a wig so for today's tutorial i am going to use eunice okay this is their yaki straight wig it's their pre everything it comes with plucked hairline it comes with the lace cut the the knots bleached everything ready for you to go but we are going to customize this because we are on a budget we have to, we have what 250 dollars to use we're gonna buy the wig and the products to use so we could just look fire for the fall okay so this is the wig straight out the pack and i'm going to put it on my mannequin head and section her off as to how i want to put the bleach down so as you can see i sectioned the front of the frontal off well partial of it to have a money piece that's where the black clip is in the front and then the side of the face framing um portion of this wig the rest of the frontal i'm going to pin that away and then the back i am going to split it in three so i'm going to make this as easy as possible when it comes to coloring because i know a lot of girls out there don't know how to color but you gonna learn today now this is not the correct way to do it but this is the fast way to do it and we like fast cheap and ready to go because we want to look cute and we got places to be you feel me so i already have my bleach mixed i have a 30 volume with my quick blue those those are my favorite products to use when it comes to bleaching and i'm gonna mix three scoops to the same amount of developer and i'm gonna get like a pancake consistency that's what i like i like a pancake consistency i like to use a lot of bleach to just make sure that the entire section is thoroughly coated okay and once i do that i'll take a nice big piece of foil and i'm going to let that um in incubate or process in the foil now do not ball up the foil because you're going to leave like um indentations into the hair and you don't want that all right and so just to make this go faster i'm gonna use my hands i take a nice glob of bleach and i'm gonna start focusing on the ends and then i'll, I'll, I'll bring it up with my hands as you can see like i'm feathering it and i'm just massaging in there to just make sure that there's no pieces um that's not bleach that needs bleach okay so that, i'm gonna do that to the entire wig and then once i get to the side i am going to do the same thing but i'm going to angle it and i'm gonna feather it up so it can blend well with the money pieces So like right here, I'm bringing the bleach all the way up to close to the frontal, the front of the frontal, so I could just have those face framing layers. And then I'm just gonna make sure that that section is highly saturated. Like you see me massaging the bleach in there just to make sure. And then I just make sure that it's highly blended. Like I said, you do not want um, hard demarcation lines. You just wanna make sure that it has a nice gradient like it does right there. And then I'm just gonna add the foil and let it process so i do let this sit for about 45 minutes i don't know if i said that 45 minutes to an hour i don't know if i said that already but as of right now i'm just making sure that it is lifted evenly and it is so i'm gonna just take it out so if it is still processing um or if it's still hot I, it could cool down now i do go ahead and wash this off i use cold water i do not shampoo it or condition it because i am going to go in with some color all right so at this point you just want to make sure that the bleach is all the way out of the wig now i'm going to use this revlon color silk and i'm going to take the color and the developer mix them with each other this is a 30 volume developer so what it's going to do is going to deposit color and it's also going to lift so just in case if you do have some demarcation or some blotchiness in your hair color this will help you even it out because it is 30 volume and it will lift now i did not let this wig dry i just um uh, towel dried it just to make sure that it was not drippy wet and then i'm gonna just massage it everywhere that i put the bleach okay so it can have a nice um 
toned look instead of using actual toner hair color is definitely going to last you a, a bit longer and i really don't care to you i mean i really don't care to use a like expensive hair color box dye will do definitely do the job especially on wigs because it's like you're not washing it as much and it's going to last the color is going to last a lot longer than it will on your natural hair so i'm just going to let that sit for about 30 minutes and once it's done then i will go in and shampoo and condition it with um silicone mix and i go ahead and proceed to let it air dry and go style it so like i said that box color did the job because it definitely evened it out and toned the hair for me or deposited color for me so this is the wig it is a 200 dollars wig i definitely know that it has coupons so you can get the wig a little bit cheaper i did spend at least 250 dollars on everything and yes i am enjoying this this is a yaki straight unit 24 inches and i believe it's a like 150 180 density but because it's a yaki unit it, it gives a little bit thicker than what it normally is so if you are interested in this particular wig i will have a link down below in the description box with everything that i use in this tutorial if you want to see an install let me know down below in the comment section and i'll be back with another video bye best friends